What happens to all the photos our missionaries take and save on their mission phones? Many missionaries upload them to their missionary.org Google Photos account, but that account will be deleted shortly after the missionary returns home. That means all the photos will be deleted as well if they are not downloaded or shared and saved to another account. In this video, I will show you how to easily and automatically share photos from a missionary.org account to a Gmail account. We will use a Google setting called partner sharing. For this to work, you'll need access to two Google accounts. One will be the mission account, the one that ends in missionary.org. The second will be a regular Google account, preferably one that belongs to your missionary but that you will have access to while your missionary is out serving. I'll refer to the second Google account as the Gmail account. Word of caution, Google recently announced accounts with two years of inactivity will be deleted. So it's important you log in every once in a while to that Gmail account so the account is not deleted. Your missionary will not be able to access that Gmail account on their mission. So please log in to your missionary's Gmail account at least once while they are out. Plus, when you log into the Gmail account, you'll be able to see all the photos that have recently been added. I love when I see my missionary has added new photos. All right, let's go to the computer and show you how easy it is to set up partner sharing. Okay, what you want to do first is to go up here to photos.google.com. And once you do that here on the center of the page or up in the top right corner, you can click go to Google Photos. And here you'll want to log in to the missionary account. So the one that ends in missionary.org. Once you put the email in, you'll click next, and then you'll enter the password for the missionary org account. So the next thing you'll want to do, you're now logged into photos.google.com with your missionary.org account. You'll come up here and click on the settings, the little gear icon, and you'll scroll down here to where it says partner sharing, automatically share photos with a partner. So the partner you're going to share with is the other Google account, the Gmail account. So you'll come over here and you can choose the starting date. I suggest starting with the first day of the mission. And then you can choose what photos you want to include. You can choose all photos or just photos of certain people. I would leave this at all photos, then click next. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is enter the email address for that second account I mentioned at the beginning of the video for that Gmail account. So go ahead and enter that in right here, the account that you'll be sharing the photos with. And then it's confirming who you're sharing with. So share with that email account and what they will have access to, and then you click send invitation. Before we move on to the next step, I just want to show you if you ever feel like you need to remove that partner sharing, it's just right there, you'll just click remove partner. So the next thing you want to do is log in to Google Photos with that Gmail account. So there's a really quick and easy way to do this. If you come click on your photo up here in the top right corner, then you can click add account and then you can sign in with the other account, with the Gmail account. So you put in the email address for the Gmail account and click next and then the password. And then click next. Once you're logged into this account, you'll come over here to sharing. And right here, there is an invite for partner sharing. You'll click view invite. And it says, Becky wants to share partner sharing with you and you can click accept. Then you can choose if you want to share back with your missionary. There's not much reason for that, so I'm going to choose not now. And so now what will happen is any photos that your missionary adds to their missionary.org account from their phone 
will automatically be shared with their Gmail account. Okay, so we have one final very important step that we do not want to miss, and that is to make sure the photos that are being shared are automatically saved to the Gmail account. Okay, so I want to explain a little bit what I mean. If I come over here to sharing and click on Becky's photos, I can see this photo right here that came from the missionary.org account. But if you notice, when I go back over here to my photos section, that photo does not appear there. So what's happening is the photo is being shared, but it's not being saved. So what we want to do is go into settings and change that. So we come over here to the top right corner and click on settings. And then over here, we come down to partner sharing. And here you should, right under where it says partner sharing, you should see your missionary's email address. And then you'll see it again right here under their name. And there's this get started button. You could click on that if you want to share photos back with your missionary. But the main setting that we want to be sure is set is right here under save to your account. Where it says none, go ahead and click on that. And then change that to save all photos. This will save all the photos that the missionary shares from their missionary.org account. So I'll click on that and then I'll click done. Okay, so then what will happen, and this might take a minute, but what will happen is you can go over here to photos and now you can see that photo that was only showing up under sharing is now showing up under my photos. So it's automatically been saved to the Gmail account. There's another way you can tell if a photo has been saved to the account or not, and that is by going over to sharing and then clicking on the missionary's photos. And if you look here in the right corner of this photo, you can see there is a cloud with a check in it. That means that photo has been saved to this Gmail account. This photo has not yet been saved because there's no check mark. Another thing I want to show you, if you come over here to the missionary account and say you delete a photo from that account, it will delete it from the missionary account, but it will still be saved in the Gmail account, which is the whole point of this, right? Is to be able to save the missionary's photos once that missionary.org account no longer exists. So there you go, that's how the partner sharing feature works in Google Photos. I hope this helps save all those precious photos your missionary is taking. If you found this helpful, be sure to hit the like button below. And even better, share this video with other missionary parents.